Hello everyone, Ramya, Assistant Professor of CSC Department from Rohini College of Engineering and Technology. Subject code CS 8602, Compiler Design, Unit 3, Topic, Syntax Directed Definition, Evaluation Orders for Syntax Directed Definitions. Syntax Directed Definition A syntax directed definition specifies the values of attributes by associating semantic rules with the grammar productions. For example, an infix to postfix transfer translator might have a production and rule production means e tends to e1 plus t for that you are writing the semantic rule e dot code equal to e1 dot code t dot code plus that means it has two non terminals e and t the subscript in e distinguishes the occurrence of e in the production body from the occurrences of e as the head both e and t having a straight phenomenal of the string valid attribute code the semantic rule specifies that the string e dot code is formed by concatenating e1 dot code and t dot code and the character plus the next one is a syntax directed translation scheme imports program fragments called semantic actions within production bodies is in e tends to e1 plus t print plus next we are going to see the std that is syntax directed definition it is a context free grammar together with attributes and rules uh, attributes are associated with the grammar symbols and rules are associated with the productions that means if x is a symbol and a is one of its attribute then we write x dot a to denote the value of a in its one of its attribute at a particular tree not labeled x next we are going to see the different types of attributes that is inherited and synthesized attributes first we are going to see the synthesized attribute a synthesized attribute for a non-terminal a it should be accommodate with the pass tree node and it is determined by a semantic rule associated with the production at n note that the production must have a as its head synthesized attribute at node n is defined only in terms of attribute values at the children of n and and n itself the next one is inherited attribute an inherited attribute for a non-terminal b at a pass tree node it is defined by a semantic rule associated with the production of the parent of n the production must have b as a symbol in its body an inherited attribute at node n is defined only in terms of attributes value at n's parent Next, we are going to see one example for syntax directed definition. Here they given the some production for that production. We are going to write the semantic rules. That means it is based on the arithmetic expressions with operators plus and asterisk. It evaluates extreme uh, expressions that should be terminated. Otherwise, it is based on the end marker. Uh, in the uh, syntax directed definition, each of the non terminals uh, has a single synthesized attribute called well, we also suppose that the terminal digit has a synthesized attribute lex well, which is an integer value written by the lexical analyzer. Next, we are going to see the evaluation orders for syntax directed definition. That means uh, the rules of an syntax directed definition are applied by first constructing a pass tree and then using the rules to eliminate how we are going to make the order in the pass tree. Likewise, uh, suppose if we have that uh, we are going to consider one graph in the dependency graph, it is a useful tool for determining an evaluation order for the attribute instances in a given pass tree. While an annotated pass tree shows the values of attributes, a dependency graph helps us determine how those values can be computer the two important classes of std are the s attribute and the l attribute syntax directed definition a dependency graph a dependency graph depicts the flow of information among the attribute instances in a particular pass tree and edge from one attribute instance to another means that the value of the first is needed to compute the second Edges express constraints implied by the semantic rules. For each pass tree node, say a node labeled by a grammar symbol x, the dependency graph has a node for each attribute associated with x. A semantic rule associated with a production p defines the value of synthesized attribute a dot p in terms of the value of x dot c. Then the dependency graph has an edge from x dot c to a dot p. Suppose that the semantic rule associated with the production defines the value of inherited attributes in terms of the dependency graph has an edge from x to b.
here it shows the grammar uh, production and the semantic rule e tends to e1 plus t for that e tends to e1 plus t for that you are writing the uh, semantic rules e dot val equal to e1 dot val plus t dot val for that you are going to draw one graph in this graph it represents the dotted line and the dash line uh, here we have two different types of lines you are using solid line and the dashed line using this line you can able to compute dependency graph appears the nodes of the dependency graph it represent the by numbers 1 through 9 correspond to the attributes in the annotated past tree thank you